Hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf, your one and only, and today we're going to be playing some more Dragon Blades. I do apologize for my fan being on also, but we are so close to Max Llewellyn. We're like really close right now. Well, I would have had her to Max if I didn't uh, make Landy, but you know, it's not her fault. She's doing great right now. She might actually replace Black for me right now, just for a while. So I actually decide to work on her. But we are at plus eight now. All we need is one more, and we're actually done. But congrats to Zan, because she already got hers to uh, max. And also, she got Trans Falcon, so congrats on that, too. This whole event thing has actually been quite useful, because I've only been buying the raid tickets. <laughs> and actually, it's probably it's pretty much the best idea to do. Just because if you stack up on those raid tickets, then you won't have to worry about actually buying tickets in the future. Especially if you get like 10,000 of them or something. <laughs> so use this event wisely while you can. And not only that, we've actually been doing pretty good inside of Guild Loop, thanks to Xan. Xan has just been carrying us through. For now. For now, until I get my stuff ready. You know, I gotta get my team on point. Right now, once Llewellyn's there, then I'll probably catch up with her in damage. Then, I've thought about this for quite a while now. I might, after Llewellyn, start on the rest of the keys that I've been actually thinking about. As in, um, this one, and who else? I think it was this one, Omega. Once I start on Nim, then I should get Trans Falcon. Then, when Trans Margaret comes out, I can automatically get her. And you know what? While I'm at it, whenever I finish that one, I'll probably just get Tracy too. As for Landy, I already left her a review on her. She's actually pretty good so far, in especially in PVE. I have not tested her out inside of any like um, world bosses yet, so this is gonna be a first time. And thank God, it's the one she supposedly poses shine in. So, let's go ahead and try that out and see how it goes. Is that what you want to give me? Nah, give me Helios. Where is she? Even though I need to start on Helios right after I finish those uh, other keys too. Because Helios is definitely going to be good and I need to start back on my Paladin just because of the passive. But that's going to increase the damage and plus I can have Helios in my team at all times without wasting any other slots where I can have Trance inside of it. Alright, let's look at this damn- oh my god. Jesus. We're already early in and she's already buffing the hell out of everybody. So far, so good. We're definitely going to pass our um, one minute mark. Yep. I didn't really bring a defensive team, though. I ended up... I actually ended up bringing Llewellyn in here again. Whoops. Probably without a bigger score. But at the same time, Landy's doing such a great job of keeping everybody alive that we don't really have to worry about it. We're about to pass the two minute mark. Not only that, my shields are <laughs> have not came off yet. Just because the Landy keeps him from removing them. That's the fun part. God, can I go all the way here? I'm actually getting a really good score. Two minute mark coming up. And uh, what is the three minute mark? Alright, yeah, we're gonna make that definitely. I'm actually happy I made her. 
I could have had Llewellyn Max by now, but you know, you know, it, it's all right. <laughs> this is like the payoff right now. And once we get her to max, she's going to be adding on even more damage. kind of wish Landy could remove all of these, like, damage over time. Well, I can decrease the damage of it once I get her to max because she takes 25% less when she's max. I'm pretty sure the whole party takes 25% less, which is really good. But this is the power of Landy right now. I guess ridiculous, but I am also happy. Oh no. Alright, so here, this is where everybody get wrecked. Okay. Oh yeah, and plus you can't revive, like, uh, helpers. That's another reason why I want to actually make the... I actually want to work on Helios' key. Yeah, the bleed damage is definitely getting to everybody. And just think about it, once she gets um, max, her regen is going to be even more retarded. And plus, I kind of do want to, like, get her ready for, like, the rest of the most that are supposed to come out for Chapter 4. Pretty sure it was like Legend and Myth difficulties that are supposed to be coming soon, so I do want to try and get a healer ready for that. Or I can at least get Falcon for that. I don't want to work on Omega right now, just because I know Llewellyn's going to come out like real close to now. I would not doubt it. Jesus, look at all that power he has. Alright. Alright, the family did some pretty good damage. And I'm top, well, nearly top 300. Alright, I like it. Right, what else we have to do today? Oh, we have tag to do. Okay. That's fine. Even though I don't want to do it. But we have to do it. Alright, let's go ahead and get it out of the way. Got a summers here. Probably going to die. Because once she summons that Phoenix, is going to be quite annoying. Could you just stop doing what you're doing? Oh, yeah, I kind of wanted to use this video to like talk about some ideas that could be in the game. Like, let's just hear me out a little bit. I've actually been brainstorming this for quite a while. In like chapter 6 or something. You know what? It'll be actually pretty cool to like branch off to like different classes. So like if you were like archer, you would branch off to um let's see, it could be a gunslinger or hmm what else? A sniper or you know, just plain ranger or something like that. Like that would be actually pretty cool if our characters could like branch off like later in the chapters to like different other classes so you can have like different builds different skills and so you can have like an actual reason to make the same character but like a different loadout each time that's pretty much what i've been brainstorming and for like warrior you would probably have like guardian or mm, berserker what else barbarian like all that Hold on, let, I'll get back more to the idea as I go into here. Oh Jesus, I'm dead. <laughs> You're just gonna hit me with that? Alright, uh, tag team. You, you know, I don't think your matchmaking system is so good. But, as for, um, like, Paladin, it could branch off to, like, um, Lancer. Or what else? Uh, well, I didn't even think much about the paladin. 
Maybe he could be Guardian, maybe. Uh, as for the Priest, you can branch off to Cleric or Sage. You know, both of those are healers, technically. As, as for Encanter, she can branch off to, like, Necromancer or Arcane. Pretty sure Arcane is mostly where you can, like, transform into, like, different things, you know? So, that, that could be actually be pretty interesting. And... There's, like, a ton of things that, like, your characters can, like, branch off to. Like, Rogue can transform into probably, like, Assassin, considering it's Rogue and not Assassin. But, what else could it branch off to be? Um, ninja, Samurai, all those. Like I said, just pretty much so many ideas you can actually put into like different classes. Can you like, hurry up? <laughs> I've been wanting this to be over. Hopping looks pretty interesting. So I'm actually happy I got this guy to fight. He changes out a lot. Alright. Let's see. Oh Jesus, thank you. But yeah, that was just pretty much like a small idea I had. I don't know if they would actually go for it. I'm pretty sure they'll think it's like too much work and take too long or something like that but it seemed like a cool idea <laughs> you know just putting ideas out there suggestions you know just brainstorming everybody does it all right let's do five of these oh yeah it was funny because before they even announced that they had buffed this place we sat here and thought oh so they think they slick buffing this place and not telling us at all so I went in here like the other day and it took like way longer to kill this thing than usual. And I wonder if they changed it back since that emergency uh, maintenance. Because last night I could not connect to the game. It didn't say anything about maintenance. And what made it even worse is that it was during the whole farming time where all the buffs were up at that time. So I was actually pretty pissed because I missed out like two hours on those buffs. And we still have not gotten any other people. Okay, there we go. But, I was actually pretty triggered. <laughs> because I could have had more essence, like, right now. But, I don't. Oh yeah, we gotta do pigs after this. Yeah, see? They buffed the hell out of it, without telling us. But it's, it's still pretty easy to keep alive, for me. But, uh, we... But the newer players, they die very often. So that really sucks for them. So nobody can one-shot it anymore. Well, it's kind of a good thing they changed it because you want people to actually get score on the board instead of like somebody coming in and randomly one-shotting it. I'm pretty sure as the game goes on, there are going to be people who can actually start one-shotting the boss again. Probably not one-shotting, but killing it like in five seconds I can see that one coming oh yeah I forgot to talk about mage uh, mage can branch off into uh, wizard or no no what no take away wizard make it like hmm make it a magician with like you know a bunny outfit don't judge me. There's things I want in this game. But they can also like transform her into like um elementalist where they can use like pretty much any type of like spell, lightning, ice, fire, all that. Just pretty much like um just pretty much like Bright Spark did before she got her trance and now she's just mainly focused on ice, which kind of puzzles me in like certain places of why they did that but you know I'm not even gonna question it even though it seems like everybody in the world knows a freaking revive spell inside of the story but you know she doesn't actually get one so many things missing here 
Oh, I can't even uh, speed through these anymore. I gotta literally sit through these. So I might as well turn this off. <laughs> because it is going to be quite a while. I'm actually thinking of other classes that other things could turn into. I already said Barrier and Hmm. Oh yeah, um, Mage can actually be a, a spell blade. If you guys know what that is. It's pretty much a mage that has like a magical sword. That's also something that she could turn into. And yeah, it would change your weapon and everything. So, so, so basically you would have like a spell orb and a long sword. But one thing I can doubt is that the, that the devs actually watch my videos. But let me know what you guys feel about these ideas. Like, I think it would be interesting. Oh, I stole second place at the last second. That is the power of Landy keeping buffs around. <laughs> it's retarded. Gonna be even more retarded when I get Helios the uh, ultimate. Oh, sweet. She put in all that hard work and... And I got it. Oh crap, I forgot this was here. Boop. Let's put them back out there. Then we go ahead and grab this. I did not want that crap. Thank you. What is this? Thank you. Oh, thank you. Jesus. that and well I don't really have anything of that so I might as well thank you for the frog through all that farming I have so many seal cards maybe one day they'll make like quadruple quadruple skill cards I mean it's not far-fetched they'll they probably would like, way further in the game. I'm kind of going to miss all the keys, man. Rip Busters inside of uh, Chapter 5. Man, when they're gone, I'm going to be so sad. Because I actually like some of these. And I love what they could do. But now we're going to go back to our normal skills real soon. I mean, you know, they kind of want you to be able to use the, like, the actual character skills instead of relying on keys. I kind of see why they're doing it. But at the same time, you're going you're going to miss them. <laughs> uh, let's see. Actually, we can PvP five times. Why not? We can easily get those out of the way. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Let's see how Llewellyn does now that she's plus eight. It's been a while since I tried her. Put so many things. Llewellyn got three. Oh, <laughs> Black got three. All right. The five raids I'm probably gonna have to do at the, um. Probably like a weaker like raid or something. I'm not too worried about it. Because it can easily be done. <sighs> Do you ever know when to stop? <laughs> like literally her heals are <laughs> are out healing your damage. Oh yes, let's let's do this fight. Hello, Grey Soul. We meet again. Remember when you used to one shot my team? Get stunned, buddy. Yeah, get out of here. Never again will you one shot me. Alright. 
Let's keep going with the top person right now. Is that... Is this three? I was not paying attention. This is probably three. Notice new players that came in and just been grabbing so many keys. But they're never actually, like, worked on keys. Uh, if I was, like, a new player, I would probably get one key and work on that key. On that one key. And two, I got it to ultimate. Then, I would, uh, it's been a long time since I actually seen him. I actually been wanting to make him for, like, normal, normal PvP. But, then I would, like, get the trans from it. Because, you know, that would make everything so much easier just to work on one key instead of trying to grab every last key in the game. It's because it would help me, like, uh, get way further. I want, I want to fight this. Let's see how it goes. Ah, oh, I got a Max Landy. He has quite the HP on it, though. Jesus. Oh, no. Wait, who has the invincibility? Oh. Black. <laughs> Dead. Pretty sure one more will do it, right? Let's let's just do one more just to make sure. Redeem those points. Oh, this guy still has Minotaur gear. Oh yeah, that's another thing I thought about. Hmm. Uh, so basically, once this whole like um. Can I even look at it? Thank you. Once this comes through, I'm really thinking about getting uh, Titan Rogue once this comes through. But, I can also just go ahead and get... Hold on. Where is she? Doo -doo. I can also get her already. But I already have like all the allies for her, but they aren't ultimate. So I'm going to have to put in... Like so many essences to give them to get them to ultimate. Then I'm gonna have to put in 30 more just to create this. Then I gotta Then around that time I pretty much have her. If I had to say with the luck of like successfully getting the double S's into these triplet S's, I would probably need at least probably 30 30 to 40 of them just depending on how the luck goes. So if to get these two to ultimate, it would probably take that long. Then I would have to grind for more. And yeah, that's going to be like, I guess 70 essence down the drain. But then again, I'm going to have to come back and start working on Margaret and, and Tracy. Since I don't really, I haven't really touched Tracy right now. Because I haven't been a need to. So I might as well get her. So I kind of just want her as one of the rogue keys. And plus, uh, when the trans comes out, the trans is going to be really retarded and strong. So I might as well, you know? you know, Or I can get here and, you know, make those uh, trans off that. You know, I still haven't worked on SIG yet, which is puzzling me of why I have not, but you know, life choices. But yeah, there's a lot of things I could do. I can even get this if I wanted to, or I can get this. Well, actually, yeah, Storm Bear is the only thing I could actually, like, want out of that. Mmm, do I actually want to go for Storm Bear? Do I actually want to? I mean, I like them, but... Ah... Uh... Alright, now I'm just adding on more choices for myself. God darn it. Hmm. I need to stop while well, I can. Alright, let's go ahead and do this. Wait, no. This. Thank you. But, yeah, I'm pretty much just going with the flow of my whole team right now. You know, just trying to figure out what's best for me at the moment. 
No, I know it'd be like really good if I just focus on the whole team I have now. But at the same time, these guys will be replaceable by the other like things I have in my mind of what I want to actually use. So Falcus is pretty much gonna replace a Camel like real soon inside of my team. So Camel can be weighted off. And once Margaret comes through, she's probably going to replace Ravengill, or I can just go for pure damage for a while and replace uh, Black or any healer for now. So that's going to be interesting to figure out. Because there's like a lot of choices I can actually go through. So pretty much just complete my team and make it to, like where I want it until like the other trans come out. Like Just like when Wind comes out. She is definitely going to be in my team, along with Llewellyn. Then I'm going to have to replace somebody from that. But that's in like the far future, so yeah, she won't be coming out for a while. That's why I kind of want to work on the team while I have the chance, you know, get up to where I want to be. So yeah, just, just a whole lot of planning going left and right. So I'm just going to basically work on keys as soon as I'm done with Llewellyn. And plus, I love Margaret. Margaret is like one of my favorite characters in this game. It's because she's so adorable. Don't judge me. She is adorable. No, the next thing I'm actually hoping for is that they give us a good amount of rubies for completing the next modes and not that like real like, hey, here you go. You finish it. Here goes 50 rubies or here goes 100 rubies. Like, do you know that this is technically like the last chapter right now and this chapter is like pretty strong and you just gave us like myth and legend like we should get way more than that at least 300 <laughs> I mean I know that's asking for a lot but you know that would be that would be nice that would be very nice all right let's go ahead and finish this pig up oh dear god so we're still doing this is that, is that what's good, Pig? Is that that's what's good? Hope they didn't buff you too. <laughs> pig still one-shotting unranked trans like it's nothing. Yes, thank you. I need essence, not allies. I have enough allies. Darn it. Thank you. Thank you for actually hearing me out. They're giving out max for money? Nah, I'm good. I have never spent money on this game and I don't plan to yet. Free to play player over here. And I will, I will remain that way until I get rich. Then I'll throw money at it. <laughs> I'm not rich. But giving out, oh my god, they're all actually max. What the hell? About $100 for that? I don't know. That would hurt my heart if I was to throw $100 into that. Oh, so we have a choice between these. Man, screw that. I would get the light essence. You guys got me messed up. <laughs> so that's technically ultimate right there. Just ultimate packs because they give you a choice between essence along with it. Hey, that's cool. I'm just not going to <laughs> throw money at that. All right, let's go ahead and throw all these inside of here, so I won't forget later. Stack these up. But guys, that's where I'm going to end it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and enjoyed my idea. Come on. Game Bill. Think about it, please. That it would be really awesome if that was something in like further chapters down. But guys, I'm gonna end it here. Hope you guys enjoyed. Till then, peace out.